All right, got another video here for you. This is an integral problem. We need to integrate this thing. Uh, so when we first look at it, the first thing you might think about is partial fraction decomposition. But if you if you look at this, we we notice that this thing you can't solve the denominator. It won't factor. It has imaginary solutions. Uh, you can you can look at the discriminant. If you look at b squared minus 4ac, where we know a is the coefficient of the squared term, b is the coefficient of the x term, and c is your constant. So if you plug this in, you're going to get negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1 which is equal to, what is that, negative 3, which is less than 0, so that means we would get imaginary solutions. So how would we go about solving this thing? Well, we can, we can look at this and write this as 1 over x squared minus x, leave a little space there, plus 1, okay? dx and I have a feeling you know what we're about to do and that's correct we're gonna complete the square so if I take the coefficient of the x term that's negative one half negative one half if you half that you get negative one uh, you get negative uh, I'm sorry Blah. I'm getting ahead of myself if you take the coefficient of x, that's negative 1. Half of negative 1 is negative 1 half. Negative 1 half squared is 1 fourth. So if we add 1 fourth here, we have to subtract 1 fourth out here. I was already, I already halved it when I was talking about the coefficient of x. All right. So this is going to be 1 over x minus 1 half squared plus three-fourths dx. All right, so now let's do some u substitution. We're going to let u equal x minus one-half, so that means du is equal to dx. So this is going to give us one over u squared plus three-fourths du. We do our all of our replacement stuff. Do I'll substitute the u in for x minus one half and the dx gets replaced with du. All right, so what is this? Well, what does that look like? Well, if you if you remember, we have the integral of du over, that's gonna be a squared plus u squared is equal to one over a inverse tan of u over a plus c. That's inverse tangent. And you can see here a, well, a squared is three-fourths. And, you know, here the constant's written first and then the variable. Over here we've got the variable and then the constant written first. That's not a big deal. I mean, if we wanted to, we could write this as one over three-fourths plus u squared du to make it look like this with the constant first. So you can see here a is equal to square root of 3 over 2. That's a. Because remember this term right here, this 3 fourths, that's a squared. So a would be the square root of this. And so now we're going to get this is equal to 1 over square root of 3 over 2 times inverse tan of u over square root of 3 over 2 plus c, which is going to be 2 over square root of 3. We just flip that. And that's going to be inverse tan of 2 over square root of 3 u plus c. And now, in the place of u, we're going to put x minus 1 half because we've got to get it back in terms of x. And so this is going to be 2 over square root of 3 times inverse tan of 2 over square root of 3 
times x minus one half plus c make sure yeah x minus one half and so this is going to be two over square root of three times inverse tan of 2x minus 1 over square root of 3. I just distributed the 2 to that, and then the square root of 3 goes on the bottom. And that is your answer. All right, so I hope that helped. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all in the next one. Later.